you're wondering why my eyes are so dilated right now, I just, I went to the eye doctor and I've been wearing sunglasses all day. They put way too many eye drops in my face for having blue eyes. If you don't, if you didn't know, blue eyes dilate a lot easier than other colors. Something else that's taken over the world by storm besides snow right now is uh, is air fryers. So I thought it'd be fun to try to go on a winter camping trip tonight and cook only using an air fryer for your viewing pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. It's not warm. Okay, so we have our air fryer. Um, this is a Power XL Vortex air fryer. It looks like a typical air fryer. I've got the truck running right now. It's like 33 degrees outside. It's dropping really fast. It's only about 4.30 p.m. But you can see it's already starting to get quite dark outside. This thing is electric. So it says 1700 watts of power for up to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's gonna require a pretty hefty battery. Um, I believe my battery can supply up to 2,500 watts of power. I'm hoping that it'll work, fingers crossed. Uh, this thing has been known to act kind of funky in colder weather. So I'm hoping that it can at least power this fryer because I am kind of depending on this thing to cook my meals tonight. Remove the basket, load basket, return basket to unit, power unit on, remove basket. That sounds pretty straightforward. I've heard a lot about these things, of course. They're pretty cool because you can fry food with really low amounts of oil and they can come out crispy. I'm excited. I got a couple of recipes I'm gonna make. Um, the other cool thing about them is, is that you can use them like an oven. So we're gonna try to get some crispy chicken done with these. Then I have a little midnight snack I'm gonna try to make with them too. And I gotta get my chicken prep because it's gotta marinate for a little bit before uh, we're able to feast. Oh my, dude. Bubbly down. Chicken. Chicken. All right, don't judge me. I lost my Ziplocs. I took them out of the truck too early, apparently. Some of these boneless, skinless ones. And then I got some drummies. I think you're supposed to use the ones that have the skin on it. I just want to see how crispy they get. cold. Uh-huh. Oh, no. Oh, no. That was way too much Chinese pie spice. Alrighty, then.
All right, well, drop it in the fridge. All right, so since it is so chilly outside, I am gonna try to make the next, prep the next thing inside the truck. I've got pretty much everything in here to cook, including my air fryer, which I should probably double check if it works, but I don't really have anything to cook right now. Got my chicken is marinating. So while it's marinating, I'm gonna make uh, my midnight snack. TikTokers lately have been going crazy with the hot Cheetos. So we're making Cheetos Motsy Sticks, baby, from TikTok. I have a TikTok, by the way, if you wanna follow it. I believe it's Maverick Joes, M-A-V-R-I-K-J-O-O-S. That's the same on TikTok and Instagram. Go check it out. Thanks. This is a mess. Oh my god. I hate you, TikTok. <laughs> I gotta put these in the freezer. This is gonna be the moment of truth. And it sounds like it's working. And it's drawing a lot of power. Looks like it's drawing about 1500 watts. We essentially have an oven inside of the truck now. I'm, I'm gonna make some instant rice to go along with this chicken. Just cross my fingers that it turns out. I wonder if this thing will heat my truck at all. Holy cow, that air that's coming out of there is hot. We gotta freaking move some of this stuff. All right, we got 10 minutes left on the chicken. It's time to make the rice. Using ready rice is one of my favorite things to do because rice takes so long to cook and I always mess it up. I'd rather just have it readily available and accessible, even if it means I have to spend a little extra money. Oh God, soup. Don't panic, everything is under control. A minute left on this death contraption. It's literally, it's making everything hot. This is all hot. This place is freaking hot. All right, moment of truth. What do we got? Oh, 
What? That's actually kind of crazy. Yeah, cool down for a little bit, and then we're gonna eat. That looks pretty good. Not gonna lie. Oh yeah, the one with the skin on got crispy. The other one didn't. All I had to do was hit two buttons, turn the temperature up to the right heat, put on the right timer, and bone up the teeth. There you got it, crispy soy chicken. Oh, woo! That's got a lot of spice on it. Overall, I'd give it like a five out of 10. I kind of screwed that chicken up, but that's not the cooker's fault. But for ease of cooking, 10 out of 10. These are obviously hot Cheeto mozzarella sticks. We'll see how they turn out, but these are like a very big TikTok trend right now. Normally, like you scrub out your air fryer and you get it all nice and ready to go. Um, I'm in a truck, so <coughs> we don't do that here. All right, we're going to do 10 minutes and go. I also turned the truck off. I'm going to see how well this air fryer heats the truck. Let me know if you want me to try to do a, a video where I literally use the air fryer just to heat the truck there's not much to do at night when you're in the truck you know it's just like watch netflix play nintendo eat <laughs> not complaining the air fryer is actually a lot quieter than i thought it was gonna be i guess i assumed it was gonna be a lot louder it's actually pretty crazy how quiet that is if you guys have any air fryer recipes that you want me to try uh same link go to mathmadeit.com there's a submission category where you can send your recipes if i use your recipe i'll give you a shout out on the video all right, what do we think? Do you think that it turned out? Oh, uh, I, oh, these are gooey. Oh. Oh. That was incredible. Oh, ow. Boy, hot. They're pretty good. I like it. I would have expected those to be like a little crunchier, but I don't know if that's the air fryer's fault or not. Very tasty though. These would probably get like a seven and a half out of 10. I'll probably make these again. It's gonna start getting cold in here pretty soon. It's 28 degrees outside right now. It's probably about, I mean, it's a comfortable 70 degrees in here right now, but it won't be for long. air fryer heating truck back up it's pretty comfortable in here actually i gotta go see this view yeah i am jay cook state park here in northern minnesota Ice fishing is going to be coming here sooner than you know it. Hopefully uh, you guys enjoyed this episode. I'd give the air fryer a good solid 8.5 out of 10 for truck camper cooking. It's going to be a nice addition to the truck. Let me know if you guys have any recipes you want to see me try. As always, until next time, you yeah, another drill. Just keep on trucking.